I was a sophomore in high school, sitting in Dr. Gerard Solomon's biology class as a four-eyed, pimple-faced, cross-legged kid. And I can recall watching a movie of someone walking on the beach. At some point in the movie, this person trips and falls. When this happens, the narrator comes on and says, the human body always moves on the edge of catastrophe. I thought then, and I think now, that phrase, the human body always moves on the edge of catastrophe, totally depicts my life. See, no two steps I have ever taken have been the same. And any misstep I take could lead to me face first on the ground. Cerebral palsy is my chaos. And yes, surgery has helped fix my crooked gait over time, but it will never guarantee me of not falling almost every single day of my life. CP, caused by brain damage before, during, or after birth, has left my body feeling stiff, confused, and entangled. It's also led to many untimely cases of muscular incoordination. Here are a few examples. On my way to my friend Sarah's Sweet 16 birthday party, I fell in the doorway entering the venue. So effectively, on my way to cut a rug, I ate the rug. <laughs> in July of 1997, I threw out a ceremonial first pitch to a Yankees game. It was not a strike. That day before the game, the Yankees asked me to lead them onto the field. So I did. On my way to the mound, however, I made a little pit stop. I tripped and fell right in front of the dugout. Some five years later, in June of 2002, I was the first member of the South Carolina baseball program to get his uniform dirty before game one of the College World Series. Why? Because I tripped and fell during team introductions. Additionally, I've fallen numerous times teaching and coaching in the past 15 years. But each time I tumble, I am reminded of a couple of blessings. One is that nowhere in the meaning of chaos, mayhem and confusion, or my version of CP appears the word impossible. So, did I eventually dance my butt off at Sarah's Sweet 16? Yes. Did I eventually throw that first pitch? Yes. Have I taught and coached for 15 years? Yes. And I'm standing here today. The second blessing is being exposed to the stories of those who've got it tougher than me for millions of reasons. For example, right now, I think of the 3,000 babies born with CP every year that will never be able to take to their feet. The feeling I get from that alone is ammo enough to get up every single time that I fall. I share my story knowing that we all have chaos in our lives. I suggest using perspective as a weapon against your chaos. For example, if you find it in your job, why not think of the 6.2 million people living in the U.S. right now who are unemployed? If you find chaos in some relationship, why not think of the over 14 million people living in the U.S. right now as widows or widowers? And if you find yourself bickering with your adolescent child, think for five seconds of one person you would do anything to bring back. I'd like to amend what I heard in Dr. Solomon's class that day. The human body does always move on the edge of catastrophe, but down a road of endless possibilities. So stand up to your chaos. 
use perspective as a weapon and win anyway. Thank you. Thank you.